Hi everyone. In this video, I will go through the next question of our quiz, the, the first quiz that we had in the course. So the question is as follows. We have a closed loop system in which we, we know the values for the, the process transfer function and the designed controller for the system. And we want to, to check out the steady the, the input output stability of the whole system we need to calculate the closed loop sensitivity and then we need to determine the change of the dc gain of the closed loop transfer function or the new dc gain of the closed loop system as we have the new uh, process transfer function and then we need to determine whether these two results that we have from each one of them they coincide with each other or not so let's start with the first part we need to study the input output stability of the system therefore we need to form the, the loop transfer function uh, l of s which is gp of s times gc of s and then we need to determine the location for the poles of the L and we will uh, notice whether the closed loop system is uh, stable or not. But before going further, from here we can see that our original process has a pole at plus one, which means that the, the process is not stable. It's not stable. Now let's see if introducing the controller, this controller which is designed for this system makes the closed-loop system stable or not. So we can write for L of S minus four times S plus four over one minus S times S plus three. Then the transfer function for the closed loop system could be obtained as L of S over 1 plus L of S. Which again could be written as minus 4 times S plus 4 over 1 minus S times S plus 3 over 1 plus the same uh, transfer function s plus 4 1 minus s times s plus 3 simplifying it further we will get minus 4 times s plus 4 at the numerator and 1 minus s times s plus 3 minus 4 times s plus 4 at the denominator we need to simplify, simplify it further. So again, minus four times S plus four at the numerator. And for the denominator, we will have, so I, I just re write it again, S plus three minus S squared minus three S minus four S minus 16. And if we just, rewrite it we will have minus s squared then minus 7s plus s which is minus 6s minus 16 plus 3 which is minus 13. therefore t of s could be written as 4 times s plus 4 over s squared plus 6s plus 13. and if you find out the the location of the poles of the t of s we need to find the roots of s to s squared plus uh, 6s plus 13 equal to zero uh, okay let's see uh, what are the values so s1 and 2 or p1 and 2 will be given as minus 6 plus minus square root of delta over 2a which is 2 and delta is b squared 36 minus 4 times 
AC 4 times 13, which is uh, 4 times 13, yeah, which is 52. So S1 and 2 are given as minus 3 plus minus square root of 52 minus uh, 36, which is 16 over 2, and this is minus 16 over 2. As a result, we will have minus 3 plus minus j2, s1 and 2, which are the poles of the closed loop system. And in other terms, we can see that the poles of the closed loop system are located somewhere around here. And we can say that the closed loop system is stable. Why? Because there are no poles on the right hand side. There are no poles on the right plane or here. So here is the right half plane. If there is no pole over there, this means that our system is stable. For the second part, we need to calculate the closed loop sensitivity of the system. SCL bar, and we can do it in this way. So first of all, we need to point out the definition for the closed loop sensitivity. The closed loop sensitivity with respect to the changes in the parameters of the GP is determined, is defined in this way. Delta T bar over T bar divided by delta GP bar over GP bar. GP bar is the DC gain of the process, T bar is the DC gain of the whole closed loop system. And this can be uh, rewritten in the format of delta T bar over delta GP bar times GP bar over T bar. And we already know that T is given as GCGP over 1 plus GCGP. And from here we can say that T bar is given as GC bar, GP bar over 1 plus GC bar, GP bar. We also know that if the amount of changes for GP bar and delta T bar are small, we can replace delta T bar over delta GP bar with DT bar over DGP bar, or the derivative of T bar with respect to GP bar. And this could be obtained referring to the equation that we have for T bar. We will get GC bar times 1 plus GC bar GP bar minus GC bar times GC bar GP bar over 1 plus GC bar GP bar square. And this could be simplified further. So DP bar over the GP bar could be obtained as 1 plus GC bar GP bar squared at the denominator and GC bar at the numerator. So therefore, for the closed loop sensitivity for SCL bar, now we can write the, yeah, we can replace delta T bar over delta GP bar with what we have here and then multiply it by GP bar over T bar. So we will end up with this GC bar over 1 plus GC bar GP bar squared times GP bar over GC bar GP bar over 1 plus GC bar GP bar which could be simplified further. So here, GC bar, GP bar will be canceled out with this GC bar, GC, GP bar. 
and what we have here will appear at the numerator and it will be cancelled out with the power here. As a result, the S the closed loop sensitivity, the CL bar will be provided as one over one plus G C bar G P bar. And since here we have values for G C bar and G C bar, we can just implement those values. Uh, so G C G P is here. Therefore, G P bar, the D C gain is given as four. And from here, G C bar, the D C gain of the controller is given as minus four over three or minus one point thirty three. We can find out the numerical value for the SC bar. 1 over 1 plus 4 times minus 4 over 3. Or 1 over 1 minus 16 over 3, which is equal to minus 3 over 13. Therefore, the closed loop sensitivity is equal to minus 3 over 13. So now we need to go through the last part, part C, and we want to uh, see what happens if GP changes into 4.4 .4 over 1 minus S. Originally we had 4 over 1 minus S, and we want to find out the new DC gain of the closed loop transfer bar. We can do it in two ways. We already know that T bar is equal to GC bar GP bar over 1 plus GC bar GP bar. We already know that the GC bar is equal to minus 4 over 3. And now our new GP bar is given as 4.4. So this is the new DC gain of the GP bar because when GP is 4.4 over 1 minus S, then GP bar is given as 4.4. So from here, we can just plug in the values. The new value for the uh, DC gain of the closed loop transfer function would be minus 4 over 3 points times 4.4 over 1 minus 4 over 3 times 4.4. So this could be simplified and you can uh, obtain the value for that. I think I have written it somewhere. Let me just uh, double check it. Okay, so first of all, we could have obtained the original T bar. The T bar old, I would call it, and this would be T bar new. The, uh, the original value for the DC gain of the closed loop system, if you calculate it as, let me do it again here, as minus 4 over 3 times 4 over 1 minus 4 over 3 times 4 you would get a value like 1.2306. And now if you calculate uh, the value for the new T-bar, you would get, after doing the multiplications and divisions, you will get the new this again of the closed loop system as 0 0.9468. You can just verify it. So we have the old value of the DC gain for the closed loop system, the new DC gain of the closed loop system. This is how we calculated it. The other approach would be referring to the formula that we have for the closed loop sensitivity. Know that it's equal to delta T bar over T bar and delta GP bar over GP bar. We already know the value for this. 
the closed loop sensitivity minus 3 point minus 3 over 13 and from here we can test the value we can calculate the value for delta t bar which is equal to minus 3 over 13 times delta gp bar over gp bar times t bar the old value of the t bar and from here you can uh, calculate the value for it so i can yeah plug in the values minus 3 over 13 times delta gp bar is 0.4 gp bar is 4 times t bar is 1.2308 and I believe if you find out the delta t bar from here, then this delta t bar should be t bar nu that we have calculated here minus t bar, or it should be pretty close to it. Even though it might be a little bit different, because here we have assumed that uh yeah here we have we had this assumption which may be valid when we have a small value of the deviation here it might not be the case but is still these two values should be close to chat and i would like you to verify it yourself okay so this is the end of this video how to calculate the uh, how to study the input stability, how to calculate the closed loop sensitivity, and how to find out the, the new DC gain of the closed loop transfer function when there is a change in, the, in some parameters of the process. So I hope you have enjoyed uh, this video and you have learned something. It would be use, it have been useful for you. And thank you again for watching and see you next time.